Dean Low Sad that you're having a terrible time. But I'm glad you're here. Tyler Lip. I wish I had your weather. That sounds like amazing weather. Hello. Shiny day to you both. Shiny day to anyone who might be lurking. I wish I was still in bed, but there's work to do and it won't be done by itself. Um, so yeah. It has to happen. It simply must happen. Marlo, hello. Shiny day to you. My streams usually make you feel better. You're happy I got out of bed. Well, I'm happy I did too. I'm happy that something makes you happy. And it's weird that I'm part of the process, not gonna lie. Uh Oh, that's broken. Of course. Oh, that's, uh, that's not. There we go. You got news for me? As in, um, there's something I'm not understanding, or as in external news. I'm kind of involved in making a few people happy. Darn. That's, um, wild. I, I don't know, I don't feel like I'm, I don't know, I just, <laughs> I never thought about it. I just do my thing and hope I, do things. <laughs> Sean, hello, shiny late to you. Oh, my back. I guess news on my um, mattress. My body doesn't hurt hurt from laying um on the mattress. It just hurts from being my body. So that's an improvement. Sean finished the hole and I randomized her. I saw that you guys moved over to Discord, but I. Didn't join, so I missed the end of it. To be a single randomizer. Hey, it's more randomizers than that, even. I, star I started a um, Ocarina of Time randomizer one day at 4 a.m. and then forgot about it. <laughs> Q 
Jumped on that too. Yeah. Thankfully, the OOT randomizer is pretty easy to set up on PC. Otherwise, I would have to do some funky things with files. I wouldn't be shocked if Sean didn't want to do an Elden Ring randomizer. They just love the pain. There's one specific um, screenshot I'm going for. Well, I think it's much further in. I think it's right after this set of scenes. No. Maybe after it. So it seems one of the girls looks like Panton Bear. Persian Bear. Or am I a freaked out by how much Bash looked like one of your college friends? I feel like he looks like every college friend. There we go. Oops, I hit my mic. I might need to extend uh, the frame on top. This will be one of those um, conceptual thumbnails. That may or may not make sense. Actually, when do my thumbnails ever make sense? That's like half the charm. Uh, does ink painting work? Where's he? In painting only works if I want to paint in something. Kind of like a healing brush, but context driven. As I'll just clone the top. Just 
Should I clone it or should I just paint it similarly? Oh, it's only on current layer. Why is it only on current layer? Going to slowly extend the top of this. How much am I willing to torture myself? I don't know. I don't know how much torture and the energy I have today. I couldn't tell you. Let's do this very hastily and see if I can get away with it. Eh, who would know? Could probably use the in painting tool. Kind of. Fix some of this. Actually, it works pretty well. That ruined it a bit. It works better when I give it large areas. Or not. <laughs> Why do you keep making that hole larger? Okay. <laughs> Never mind. As soon as I started praising it, it did a bad job. Oh, this is that. Phew, hello. Shiny day to you. <laughs> Just like you for real. Do the randomized thumbnails? Uh, I mean, I could probably find a way to do that. If I wanted to use AI art, that would be kind of like a randomized thumbnail. And we'll just add some text. In here it just says, I don't want it to be a gradient. Too white. I feel like a mom on mops.
and mares on Mars. No, I don't want that. Yeah, this is the thumbnail. I feel like they should be a little lower. You not? Was that for you need emotes? Good use of a background. Uh, we're gonna. Um... On the rest of this. Oh, my, my screen feels awful to paint on. What's going on? Although, to be honest, I haven't painted on it since last stream. Haven't felt very artsy lately. Definitely need to add the SSS logo to this. I still haven't finished my emotes. I have so much to do with those. Stampede's emote. Um, also been doing a good amount of cutting. I have been doing that. I've been in the process of, uh, well, the last few days I've been in the process of redoing how the UI would be, um, how the overlays will be laid out, like the boards. I can show you guys. I can show you the world. Uh, would this be broken? Hopefully not. <laughs> if not, I can start it on my laptop. I did some last minute cutting last night. So there's strong chances that things will be broken. So uh, this is the the interface right now, and you have boxes that you can move around. Uh, dragging from this corner is currently broken, <laughs> uh, but dragging from this corner is fine. Uh, so you can do that. You can make them as big as you want. I need to add options to like change the color and whatnot, and possibly like make make it so that you can add or uh, 
or enable or disa disable the add line, but that's that's the idea of these. And I would be like, I need to make these more unique and I need to add options to like enable or disable boxes. I did manage to get um, uh, the information about the stored. So if you refresh the website, um, and as you can see on here, the the boxes are stored in memory so you can move them around and then if you um load the website fresh it will still have that information so that's pretty cool that's what i've been working on I hope you find some rest, Fuke. So yeah, lots of coding. Thankfully, coding nowadays, you can find libraries. So making the things draggable and resizable is just a library. It's not something that I coded in. I just coded how I wanted those specific things to interact with the user. like. The boundaries and whatnot. Pretty cool that I don't have to because I was trying to do it on my own and I had to add like a crap ton of sliders. Not fun. The one box had like five sliders, and the more boxes I wanted to add, the more sliders it would have. So that would have been a nightmare. Much easier if you can just drag and drag them around. Uh, anyways, what was I doing? Oh yeah. Uh. To a logo. Yunk. Could probably add it in here. Could I? Oh. How well will in painting understand what I want to accomplish? Not very. Oh, it's so close to getting it. The employee is doing a portening stream? Hell yeah. Nah, that's good enough. I just wanted to remove her reflection. So I could add this as... I don't know. We'll go through all of the layer styles.
color dodge seems sort of like a, what I want. Color dodge is what you, well, dodging, maybe burning. Oh, now I'm getting my terms mixed up. Because I know dodging and burning was terms that you would use to describe uh, re-exposing film so that you could get more detail out of dark parts while preserving uh, the brighter areas. Sort of like an HDR, but much more annoying. Or I guess it would be exposure bracketing. Well, HDR is kind of like exposure bracketing. Um, but I don't remember which is which anymore. I used to know. I'm so tempted to put Paddington Bear in here. <laughs> Can I get away with that? Is there a shot of Paddington Bear that I could use? <laughs> Not a lot of images of him looking left. Can I looking left? Well, adding that to my search didn't really yield better results. Lots of images of him tipping his hat. Quite the gentleman. I don't want to have to go get a 3D model of Paddington Bear so I could have him in the right orientation. Would there be a 3D model of him? Um, I don't think many people have decided to model Paddington. There's a 3D printable figurine. That's neat. Not what I want.
I can get the model of a real bear. That could be funny. No. Adding some drawing references. Uh, is there a padding um, character sheet? <laughs> A full turnaround of him. There's a coloring sheet. Um, time to go into the movie and um, dissect it frame by frame so I can get the best screenshot. That's what I should do. Adding to movie side view. I'll be use Google, right? I don't want to search Google. I want to go to Google. Bye, Sean. Thanks for being here. I hope work goes well, unless you're not going to work. In which case, uh, I don't know, stay alive. Like the Bee Gees. I guess this could work. Honestly, if he was looking either way, I could just adjust it. Uh, this might. Okay, we'll go with this. <laughs> we'll enlarge it. We'll rotate horizontal. Hell oh, yeah, I remember what horizontal means. Uh, we'll turn down the opacity. <laughs> uh. Why do I get paid to do this? Yep, okay.
We'll add this selection as a layer. And we'll do this. So we can have just the bear. The bear minimum. <laughs> Yeah, I'm losing it. Don't worry, I'm aware. <laughs> I got it. I don't know. A good question. Let's feather this more. Gonna lose. Bit of the detail if I don't. Hey, why don't you get your gamble? Good job at being lucky. Or being fortunate, I should say, because lucky is lapse bot. And you're not a bot, from my understanding. I haven't checked in a while, though. Not as far as you know. That's also important. <laughs> There's a lot of movies in which the the robot doesn't know that they're a robot. Famous movies like I Am Legend and um. That one movie with the kid. I forget what it's called. When was the last time I superficially checked you for being a bot? I saw pictures at one point of facial features and body construction. Um, so like, yeah, I, I don't know what movie I'm thinking of.
in Westworld. That sounds familiar, but I don't remember what that's about. Uh, on Rasterize, is it? No, it's not. Actually, I could Rasterize the mask. Nope. That's actually kind of an interesting... Um, thing. That live watch of Westworld? I doubt it too. Oh, I missed the spot. Of course I missed the spot. Why wouldn't I miss the spot? Was it rundown while I'm thinking again? Uh, robots that don't know they're robots. And I was thinking of the one movie where there's a kid who's a robot but acts like a human. And like there's some shit about her mom not wanting him to be in harm's way. I don't exactly remember the details of the movie I'm thinking of. Megan, I don't know. I think it, let me actually look for, um, maybe it is AI. This looks familiar. Jude Law? Yeah, I think this is the movie. Don't... Jude Law being in this movie it might be the only reason I know this movie exists. Because there was a time where my sister and I watched a couple movies with Jude Law in it. So this is probably it. <laughs> I promise I describe a rough province of a lot of movies. <laughs> yeah. It was kind of a generic, um... Description. I only know movies, if it should law. Sort of? <laughs> There's a, there's a couple movies that I've only... Now, do I remember the titles of those movies? No. <laughs> but I remember watching a few movies that had Jude Law in it. Um... I need to mask this girl out. Um, yeah, currently I'm below, she'll only take... So I to create another face. Which is not what I want. Also, why can't I... I guess that's a layer above. Can I remove all of you? Not... Quite. <laughs> Fine, I'll do some cloning. I 
Don't need a ton of it though. Just kind of have to remove the edge of our cap. Okay, let's start with the edge. It's good enough. Yep, that's Paddington, all right. I love that the light actually matches. Sort of. It's not entirely correct, but it is sort of not a backlight, which is similar enough. Uh, we're going to add curves modifier. Uh, we do need to make him a little lighter. And the highlights shouldn't be as bright. Back with dinner? Hell yeah. I love dinner. It's my favorite food of the afternoon. Followed closely by second dinner. <laughs> um... One of your top three meals of the day. No, I don't want this. I need a color correction of some kind, color balance. Because Paddington is currently too blue. To make him a little warmer. Maybe a little greener even. I'm just thinking of the proportions here, because Paddington is not very tall. So either this is a massive version of the bear, or she's tiny. If it's afternoon, it's lunch. I usually have lunch at noon when I can. Are they Iron Man did? Is that standing in a bunch of boxes or are those two different concepts? <laughs> Your team, Big Paddington? This is Paddington years after. It's gotten 
much bigger, uh, much smaller, and is now finding for, is now trying to find it a date. NJ shortish. 5'9? Five 5'9 nine. Five nine is not short. You all are your 7 feet people. He's not short, everyone else is a giant. I don't know why people love calling him short. I guess when you're surrounded by people who are like 6'2", um, you're gonna look like the shortest one. Can I do anything to make Paddy Boy fit a little better? I feel like the lighting needs to be... No, but if I do any more with the curves... Oh, maybe not. He's so low resolution compared to her. What a size accurate Wolverine. Yeah. Kind of a bummer that Hugh Jackman made such a good job with Wolverine. It's going to be hard to find a replacement that's also short. Okay, I need to, I need to move on from this thumbnail. Uh, let's save it as in dates. And we export it. I am going to have to figure out a number for these because unless Jacob changes his mind, he is going to play this game again tomorrow. So I should probably make sure that this works. That looks okay. Does 
Is the tax link to me a little bit flashier? I don't know if it has to be. No, I don't think it adds anything to it. All right. I just wanted to make sure. I forgot I accidentally saved on my template. Why do I always do that? <laughs> Next up is Returnal. Do I have any? I have a few notes for this. I missed the first 20 minutes of this stream because I was asleep. <clears throat> asleep. Lab did tell me that Julia said something along the lines of I am a conduit for God. There's also trans strats. Hold me back. Uh, calling for the death's help in its baby time. Not entirely sure how am I gonna use this uh, screenshot though. As I should have looked for something at the very start. I have no idea how I'm going to tackle this. 
I feel like trans strat is my best bet for uh for my target audience. I don't know what to pair it with. I could also use the quote, I, what was that Jacob said? I only allow pack seeding if you made the game. Actually, I should go back. Um, and see where that dev message was in stream uh it's gonna take a sec I wish I remembered. I nailed it. Um, it could be even more quick baby and do something like uh, dev crashes the stream or something. I will put the dev message like right there just so I have it. Yes. CR announced the thing. Um, uh, showing what to Twitter. Cool. Oh. A brand new game using a brand new system. And Talisman is involved. <laughs> so it's gonna be some creepy shit. Oh, they were probably recording this when they did the photo shoot with the shirts. Remember how we were like, oh, Robbie was there for a photo shoot. 
I wonder if he was doing anything else. This is probably that something else. I was in town for something, yeah. Are you still led by Matthew? From the video, it almost looked like Talisin was going to be GMing that, but I guess not. Oh, he's doing the prologues, okay. I just went to their Twitter, so there's not, like, a ton of info. <laughs> Actually, I'm doing my... None is harder than I need to. Because I have all of the chat logs. Uh, it should be a matter of just grabbing the one from that night. And looking for the dev's name, and I will have a timestamp of when they said a thing. I need more wrapping for this. You offering the game system as a free download? <coughs> they really are pushing away from uh, wizards as fast as they can. Their shit is now in roll 22. Twenty-two thirty-three. This is not where I want it to be. Uh that would have been like an hour and something to the stream. Um, should make this larger. I don't know why I didn't before. I always take screenshots of chat and like the smallest resolution ever.
And the other one is... Twenty-one thirty. Well, that was close. Sorry, that's <clears throat> there's not a lot happening on screen. I'm scrolling through the VOD chat and. There's no reason for me to show this on stream. When did I say this was? 21.30. Uh, 21, 30. I know the things I read. Interacting with your mom for three minutes was enough for your mood to go back to, to shit. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like moms. I do interact with my mom very little. Or my parents in general. I can't find it again. Why? Where is it? I found it. Oh, there it is. Hmm. I had found it so easily the first time, and now it took me forever. <laughs> yeah, that's much better quality. Okay, I need to actually work on this. Figure out what I want to do. The on emote um, colon parentheses is so funny to look at in chat because messages in chat have a colon of their own. So it has like an extra set of eyes. <laughs> I don't think, does my chat, does my overlay have, I oh, yeah, it does, but the message shows underneath the person by design. Because I wanted, I wanted to leave enough space 
Um, in case people have their pronouns or more badges and whatnot, or larger usernames. All right. While I actually do using for the thumbnail, it's been like 20 minutes of me just scrolling through chat on a bot. This is like the most dispersed I've been in a while. Oh, interesting. I don't see that at all, Nadine. Yeah, I don't see it either on my overlay or on my um, little chat doc on OPS. Is there a where would this be like right here? Oh, there's no second ad break. There's only the first ad break. And that happens close to half an hour in. Oh, I don't remember this bit. <laughs> I was a little confused as to what's going on here. Moon, hello! Shiny day to you. Have you doing alright? I have no idea what I'm going to do with this stuff now. I started strong with Paddington and now now I can't think of anything.
I don't think this is the right emotion. I don't think I screenshot that. I haven't. This is the one I want. <laughs> now I don't want long Julia. I'm gonna make this bigger. I should have added the devs comment on the VOD. Maybe I still have time for it. Hope you're all doing well, you're a sleepy guy yourself. I am also sleepy. I wanted to stay in bed. The Dean is having a rough day. Lap is at work. So that's also rough. You are cozy, though. That is correct, and I wish I was cozy. I guess it is cold here, but it's not, like, rainy cold. I don't know where my phone is. Can't check the weather. I have a weather. Can someone bring up the weather for me? Thank you. I'll take a sec to show up. Clear sky. It is cold though. The, pl the problem with a clear sky is that the sun is absolutely devastating. So even though it's cold, you don't really get to enjoy it. This is gearing up to be a very busy thumbnail. <laughs> we'll see if I can get away with it. Don't want to use a marker. I might want to, but not that marker. I feel like this needs to be from the top, actually. Stagger them like that. And... Mm 
Let me move it this way. Actual sounds kind of Actually, I think actual would be the correct or <clears throat> the correct word. Just sounds weird to me because there's a similar word in Spanish that super doesn't mean the same thing. Uh, let's do our usual background blurring and coloring. Should I choose a message from the dev that's a little shorter? I probably should, so it's easier to read um, the thing. You could also fake how this looks and you also scroll back. And I'll stop hitting the mic, Cass. What is your problem? Where do I start? Um, me, nope. Rasterize this. I want to have to renew all the elements from chat message. Uh, I just want this to. Be nice and big. Here we go. How big can I make the chat? This completely removes it. That's kind of annoying. And I can't pop out the chat on a bot. Can I uh, 
Uh -huh. I'm getting somewhere. Get rid of those. I think that's okay. That'll work. That'll work. I'm all over the place. I'm sorry. I just want to get back to bed and play Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Whenever Tears of the Kingdom releases, I'm going to be so unreachable. I want to stream exactly four hours so I can go back to play Legend of Zelda. You'll also be disconnecting yourself entirely from society as soon as the game comes out. Yeah, I was tempted to play it on emulator because it got leaked like a week ago. Uh, but I was like, nah, then I have to do things again when I actually have it in console because there's no way to transfer save files. So I'm just going to wait. Should get it on release day, though. Hopefully the shipping doesn't get delayed. That would suck. There's a streamer I follow who buys the games digitally so he can play them using a New Zealand um, Nintendo account. So he can play it at the earliest possible time zone. <laughs> Kind of clever, but I like physical copies, especially of Nintendo games because they suck at maintaining digital things. That's truly amazing, yeah. My only non really me account that I have on my Switch is a Japanese account that I have for the Japanese version of the Virtual Console because it has um, 
He has a couple different versions of a few games. Um, with better sound. I forget which they are, though. I think there's a Mario game and... Maybe a Kirby game. All right. There's, of course, a piece missing. Uh, we'll be rasterizing this. Rasterize. That looks okay ish. We'll add a live filter. Chicken little caution blur. Uh, I need to make this text a little bigger. I need to redo this arrow because it looks awful. I change the current no nope. kerning of this. Uh, I should probably change the space between lines too. <clears throat> Can I use my whole throat to talk instead of just like half of it? When will I learn? <laughs> I cannot. Clearly, I can't. I make a color overlay. Okay, make it... Oh, I can do it with just a layer thing. Well, layer effect.
That's a little better. Now, the one problem is that I should have done this on the returnal file. <laughs> and not just um, on a random file. Um, project files, if anything. Returnal. Cannot copy and paste. I think I need to copy a group actually. Yep. And we'll change where this is to here. Just to have a little bit of variety. It could go in either corner, realistically. And we'll change it to five. I can make Jacob and Julie a little bigger, actually. And I'm going to once again redraw this arrow <laughs> because I simply can't get enough. Uh, I need this text to stand out more. Um, just give it an outer shadow. Let's just give it an outer shadow. Sarah Blazeman is the best. Thank you. I do need to get better at like directing the view, the, the eye of the viewer. I don't do that particularly well. I want the outline, I, I need to do that thing where the outline is not actually that visible. Average looks pretty good. 
Yeah, it's a little bit of negative space, but without disrupting the color of the thing. I like that. Local verb obsessed with the arrows. I'm obsessed with a lot of things, especially pointy things. Knives. Um, dicks. Nipples. You know, bunch of pointy things. I have a thing on my chin. One of those things is not like the other. It's up to you to decide what. I feel like the nipples is not like the other because the other two can still stab and penetrate. That's my thoughts on the matter. <laughs> uh, this thumbnail is done. And we're going to export it. Export. Return. And this is episode five and the final one, actually. Where are we in time? I didn't take that long. I just spent most of the time trying to find my idea. I doesn't want you to continue the ellipses bit. Nipples also can't really point at something. I don't know, some nipples can. Yeah, we're just under two hours. Um, forgot about this. <laughs> Do I want, I should really at least work on one emote. So we'll do that. I'll get one emote, emote done today. Let me change to my webcam real quick. It's been truly a drag to get these emotes done. I got those sketches done pretty quickly. And the coloring wasn't too bad, but the shading has been kicking my ass. Since I'm here, nice. Does this button still work? It does. Nice. Ah, that was the wrong thing. I never know if my buttons are going to work. It's always such a gamble. Uh, I'm in the hug one. In, uh, this is one of the reasons why I stopped in shading this i realized that when it's small it's kind of hard to tell it's a body that's being hugged so i might need to change that Uh, let's add a layer, let's shadow. Actually, I think I call it lighting. 
still in my face. Oh. I confused my previews again, but yeah. Um, this hug emote is kind of hard to tell. That that is a body shape. I think it's because of this lower hand. Um, this lower hand, it's obscuring the, um, the butt shape. But I'll figure that out when I have more energy. Luckily, I made my job easier for myself, and I do have a color palette. So actually doing the coloring is not terribly hard. It's just I don't have the brain for it most of the week. But we can work on it today. Just a little bit. As a treat. I should change my title. To uh, one day I'll finish these emails. We want me today though. I guess I shouldn't overthink my shading. Sometimes I try to make it too fancy and it's really not worth it for an email. So maybe I should just go bare minimum. Much like Paddington. And... Make this just really simple. Uh, yeah, this should be lit here, probably. Yeah, it looks correct. Well, that's another one done. I'll work on these for like another 10, 15 minutes. Because otherwise I won't. I'm probably going to have lunch and immediately lay in bed and do nothing for my several hours until lab starts streaming. Assuming you stream, yeah. Depends on how you're feeling. 
But if you are streaming, I'm gonna be there. I need a shadow color for this. No. I'm too off to the side. There we go. Do a little bit of that. I really should have like my colors more separated and whatnot, but I've done that before and it's just a pain in my dick. So I really don't want to have to have like a hundred layers of different colors. Like one being the card and one being the raven and the beak. Like having more layers gives you a lot more control over what you're doing, but it also makes organizing everything so much more annoying. So I just don't. I've really been enjoying the times I do things on one layer. So if nothing barks on you, you might just keep streaming, working on redoing your overlays until you finish them. That sounds good. Uh, how about the shadow from this? I guess this will be in shade. And a little bit of the bottom. A little bit of the bottom. My new... Sex documentary. Equal parts that needs to get done, have zero motivation to work on it otherwise, and kind of don't want to stream any tangible craft until you get your desk sorted. Yeah. I mean... Um... Part of the reason why I'm doing these on stream is because I want to do them otherwise. Um... So I'm just gonna, I'm probably gonna look at these later and completely hate them again. I'm trying to just get them done. Uh, this pencil should have a little bit of shading just at the bottom. Um, this song reminds me of 
um, the newer stuff that Alexander Misko has been releasing. The boy tunes and detunes his guitar mid-song. He has such a crazy arrangement for his song, for his guitar now. He has like, first string bendable thingies and whatnot. He's gone insane. If you like crazy shenanigans happening to a guitar, you should definitely look into his music. Not musician is intentionally playing instruments out of tune, yeah. You like instead of you know bending a string to get a a note higher or lower, I guess you can't get a note lower with bending. Um it just takes the tuning peg and moves it. Because why the fuck not? <laughs> I'm sure he can afford the new set of strings every time he has to play a song. Yeah, Tom Morello is it's big on doing weird shit with the guitar. Rob's Callan does the almost the opposite thing where he takes any instrument and he plays it like a guitar but then he plays a guitar like he would play a bass he's all over the place love wonky musicians him and Andrew Hong Huang recently released a song about a fucking slide whistle that's stuck in my head. I tweeted about it, Andrew retweeted it. I'm sure you got a laugh about it. Piece of shit. Uh, I think I'm done. Um, I'll be back on Thursday for more um stick a tuning fork in this one yeah i need to buy tuning forks not because i need them to tune anything i just like tuning forks they sound very neat i like things that you can like tap and they make a funky vibration <laughs> um we're probably going to be finishing Odyssey this week. Hopefully, maybe. I've been playing it for so long. Um, and I want to play something else. There's just some side quests to do and then the rest of the story. It shouldn't take terribly long. Jim Bailey stole a tuning fork necklace from the set of The Witcher. I would too. Stick a tuning fork in you and call you done. Alright. I will. Whenever I see you again. Um, Another pointy shiny thing that I like, tuning forks. Anyways... Having Cass, you've been wonderful. Remember that you're very important to me. And uh, tune your forks. <laughs> I don't know. 
Worcestershire. <laughs>